<laughs> Dr. Hakalugi strikes again. I'll save you. This is a job for... Super Doofus! You super doofus! Super doofus, you're my hero! Mwah. Oh, gross cooties! Ah! Oops, my bad! Hello, darkness, my old friend. Solution to your problem, princess. What solution? This weapon I have developed will turn anything you shoot into sugar. It is called the Sugarnator. Well, what do you want to return? Merely to turn Super Doofus into sugar, and the world will be rid of its most annoying superhero. <laughs> Do you want anything else? Like my soul? <laughs> Where do I sign? Excellent. Welcome to the Withered drive through Ah, uh, yes. Can I get an extra large tea, please? You want an extra large? <laughs> yes, an extra large. Okay. You asked for it. A few moments later. Job for Super Doofus. It's a turd. It's so lame. It's Super Doofus. Wait a second. The situation seems oddly familiar. Flashback to episode 24. Ugh, way bigger than I thought. End of flashback. Wait, I actually have an idea. It's a miracle. Welcome to the Withered drive through I need an extra small, pronto. You want an extra small? Yeah, make it snappy. Okay. No, Super Doofus! He's a gummy bear! He actually saved us! 
but in a really stupid way. You're coming with me downtown, princess. <laughs> Dr. Hakolugi strikes again. Previously, on episode 57, Dr. Hakalugi gave Princess Potty Mouth a gun that turns everything into sugar to kill Super Doofus. Princess goes on a rampage eating everything in sight. She gets an extra large tea at the wizard's drive through so she can become huge so she can eat Vicky Vicious who she turned into chocolate. Super Doofus sacrifices himself by drinking an extra small tea before being turned into a gummy bear and flying into Princess's mouth turning her small again. The following is what happened next. I figured out a way to bring Super Doofus back from the dead. How, Sammy? I found that if you reverse polarizations on the Sugarnator, you can turn the sugar back into its original material. Watch this. Ever since she ate the giant gummy, Princess has been pooping little gummy bears. We gotta get every last gummy bear, mush them together, and reverse sugarnate them. No. Sammy, don't eat that poo. Oh, sorry. Force of habit. Make sure they're all together. Is that my poop? Why am I so small? Crap. We didn't get all the gummy bears. I've got an idea. Welcome to the Withered drive through Give me an extra large tea, quick! You want an extra large? Yeah, you heard me. Okay, you asked for it. Mental stupidity! Not Princess Potty Mouth! He can't swallow her! She's too big! Breaking news! Super Doofus has turned gigantic and is trying to eat Princess Potty Mouth! President Tronald Dump has made a statement! Quite frankly, we must nuke Super Doofus. Since we cannot legally nuke our own country, we are asking our new best friend in North Korea, Jim Kong Un, to nuke our country for us. We have provided him with an extra small tea from the wizard's drive-thru, so Super Doofus will be rendered harmless. Meanwhile, in North Korea. You made a time machine out of an ice cream truck? I figured if you're gonna make one out of a vehicle, you may as well do it with style. And sugar. Let's go to the past. No problem. Hey YouTube, Glenn and Glitter Poop back at you again. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Oh my gosh, we're back in episode 11. And let's get right into it. So we have this like feisty pet thing. Look how young Lexi and Aaron look. They're so cute. OMG, I look so 
fat in this episode. Let's go to an episode where I look smaller. What? Episode 24? I am huge in this one. That's only because you drank the magical tea from the wizard's drive-thru, like I did in episode 57. What in the world is Eden wearing? Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go to an episode where I'm the star. <laughs> Dr. Hakalugi strikes again. Why aren't Lexi and Eden helping? Help! I've been trying to the railroad track. Somebody save me! Don't worry, Super Doofus saves you. Yes, but he also drops me from 300 feet up. Super Doofus, you're my hero. Oh, gross cooties! Ah! Oops, my bad! You have to admit, that was pretty funny, though. <laughs> We've got to save me! Here's what we do. I'll try to untie you from the railroad tracks, and if you see Super Doofus coming, blow him out of the sky with this bazooka. <laughs> Great idea! What could possibly go wrong? I come from the future in a time machine that you invented. No time to explain. I forgot. You turned huge in episode 57, but Super Doofus restored you to normal size again. I became a giant? Long story. But now that Super Doofus is gone, you became huge again. What do we do now, Glenda? I know. The wizard's drive thru doesn't exist yet. Okay, and what are you getting at? So we have to go back to episode 57 and shrink you there. What is this? A time machine? <gasps> <laughs> Dr. Hakalugi? Dr. Hakalugi strikes again. <laughs> We're trapped in episode 11. 